You're about to see the player that's most reliable in the biggest moments in a countdown of the top 10 clutch NBA players in the game today. This ranking's based off a combination of how each player's performed in the last five minutes this season and how they've made a reputation for themselves as being one of the clutchest killers in basketball. First, Community Speaks returns after four videos off, with the shout-out going to Holden, who says that Yusuf Nurkic coming back from a broken leg is the returning NBA player that has the biggest impact. Then he goes on to boldly predict the Blazers will take two or three games on the Lakers if they get the eighth seed. The question for next video shout-out is coming up. Appreciate every answer. Number 10, Carmelo Anthony. All throughout the Blazers' time in the NBA bubble, Skinny Mello's been absolutely lethal when his team's counted on him most and is clearly in the best shape of his life. I know he's been going off in Orlando, but one of my favorite clutch moments from him this season was when he pulled up an OG Ananobi's grill to knock down this heartbreaker. That shot was reminiscent of what he did in Toronto 10 years earlier, and really all throughout Anthony's 18-year career when attempting pressured shots, he's been nearly automatic. You can tell on his most recent dagger against the Rockets that Melo's utterly craving the basketball in the most decisive moment until he drains a wide-open bomb. Back when he was a New York Knick, he knocked down this infamous dagger, and where he ranks in NBA history is another story, but for Rip City in 2020, he's the 10th most reliable option in the clutch. Number 9, DeMar DeRozan. With the ability to dominate with a combination of slashing and mid-range jumpers at a level better than anyone in basketball, DeRozan's been able to rack up the third most amount of points within the last five minutes of games this season. Already in the bubble, he's drained game-winning free throws after baiting DeLon Brooks, and ever since DeRozan was traded to San Antonio, he's been extremely efficient as well as extremely clutch. Maybe he's not a three-point weapon, but anywhere else this man's tough as nails and gets whatever he wants by either operating on the perimeter to fade away for jumpers or attacking to the paint to show off his blistering athleticism. Back when DeMar was in Raptor threads, he made some unforgettable clutch plays like this end-to-end under-control take to the basket in Detroit, this buzzer beater in Orlando, and this post-fadeaway game winner in the face of D. Rose against the Knicks. After having his moments but generally struggling in the postseason with the Raptors in the clutch, Last year with the Spurs, DeRozan shot a career playoff best by far, 48.7% from the field. The veteran shooting guard is one of the better options in basketball when you need a big time bucket, and I think he's incredibly underrated. Number 8, Jason Tatum. On November 20th of this season, Tatum broke Paul George with an elusive between the legs crossover step back and then drained a game tying dagger under the bright lights at Staples. And just as recently as Sunday, he drained this dagger on the Orlando Magic after going off down the stretch to carry Boston to overtime. When you think of the top players who can create best under pressure, Jason's name comes right to mind as throughout his brief three-year career, whether it's been in the regular season or playoffs, Tatum's made sensationally clutch daggers for the Celts. This season, he's 11th in last five minutes scoring, and along with crossing up George on the road, he blew past Kawhi to seal a win in Boston's home game against the Clippers. A simple face-up and jab step was enough to get the adequate amount of space on rookie RJ Barrett to kill the Knicks, who had no timeouts after that. One word when describing Beantown's 22-year-old sensation is cold, as with an extremely poised mentality, a simple flick of the wrist, either catching and shooting or pulling up is all it takes for Tatum. Number 7, James Harden. Stopping on a dime and pulling up from deep range is a key weapon that the Beard utilizes in his repertoire in the make-or-break moments. You know about his meme-worthy shuffle step back that many assume is a travel, but this ridiculous bomb in the face of both Patrick Beverly and for the second time in this video getting a dagger dropped on him, Paul George. How James Harden had the balance and strength to will this shot in from 30 plus feet is beyond me, but it certainly wasn't luck. Because as you're seeing what Harden's done all year for H-Town, James gets so much space with his brilliant footwork and easily gets his shot to fall after that with his fluent three-point trigger. Number six, Chris Paul. The NBA's leader in points in the last five minutes this year. In new threads, CP3's been carrying his young OKC teammates in the biggest moments all season. Not only does Chris lead the league in clutch scoring, but his field goal and three-point percentage is the best of anyone in the top five of this category. Paul's poised quarterbacking nature, operating beyond the top of the key, his ability to shift gears and perfectly utilize hesitation dribbles give him all the space he needs to calmly sink in pressure jump shots. 
up two with 54 seconds left to play. Check out how Chris executes this double screen action directly in front of half court. One pick switches Devontae Graham off him, then CP3 hits rookie PJ Washington with a double crossover, then the veteran Cody Zeller gets even more exposed. If there's any point guard in basketball that could execute a play like that one, I want to know his name. What a special play that was down the stretch. Number 5, Nikola Jokic. From November of 2018 to 2019, the Nuggets Serbian superstar center had six game winners. A monster at getting to his spot, either rolling to the rim or backing down in the post. That ability only seems to elevate for Nikola in the deciding moments of games. However, it's unforeseen daggers like this one against the Sixers that prove to us that Jokic is genuinely a killer in the clutch. On the verge of sealing a big win in Denver, Philadelphia was playing desperate defense, the Joker got a look, and almost as if it was magnetic force, he got the shot to fall. But Nikola wasn't done there, as throughout the 2019-20 season, he added this beastly backdown game winner against the Dallas Mavericks, and this polished fadeaway against the Utah Jazz. Also, in points scored in the last five minutes, Jokic ranks second in the league this season. Number four, LeBron James. As you see a compilation of the Kings' best moments down the stretch from the 2019-20 season, what's similar in every clutch clip is the under-control body language and extreme IQ shown off. Whether working in the high pick and roll or in ISO situations, James effectively changes speeds to either get whatever he wants in the lane or get enough space to hit cold-blooded jump shots. My favorite play from LeBron in the clutch this season took place in Miami, as here by jab stepping into his drive to the basket off an AD screen, Bron's able to gain incredible momentum just two strides in, galloping into the lane, he then hits Adebayo with a crossover but stays on his right hand to finish with complete finesse. Two likely all defensive team players this year in Jimmy and Bam were made to look as if they were ordinary defenders on a completely dominant take. This season, he also came up clutch against Jalen Brown in March, and recently he followed up his shot to hit a game-winning lay-in against the Clippers in the bubble. In terms of what he's done throughout his career, I think it's safe to say that King James has overcome his early career Skip Bayless hate and proved that he has the clutch gene. I don't see that he has winners intangibles, the know-how, the will to, to make it happen when it's time to happen in the fourth quarters. And in the end, I think he's a one-man show in a team sport. Number three, Devin Booker. Maybe this near half-court bomb wasn't a clutch moment, but it just goes to show how much of a role Booker's been on in the bubble. Drilling a shot in the face of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George recently, D-Book's clutch stock is through the roof right now considering the Suns are a steaming 7-0 in the bubble as well, winning games when they need to the most with their playoff lives on the line. That also improves Booker's ranking on this list. The real reason he's the third clutchest player in the game, though, is because all throughout his career in the biggest moments of games, Devin's had a seamless ability to create and then hit bombs from the perimeter. In the last seconds of a game, I need someone to get me any shot from nothing. That's exactly what Booker's capable of doing. Phoenix's superstar has the ideal demeanor to knock down big-time shots as well. His confidence is through the roof, and given he's a shot-creating artist and one of the top scorers in the game, his belief's got every right to be at that level. Looking at what he just did to the Clippers, Devin was doubled four times by three different players on, I guess, two different possessions. It was special stuff from the 2020 All-Star nonetheless, and Phoenix should be proud to have him at the helm. Number 2, Kawhi Leonard. What the Claw did in 2019's playoffs can't be easily forgotten. He hit every big shot for the Raptors, nailed one of the greatest game winners in NBA history, and drove the Six to their first ring ever. He's yet to get his full clutch flow this year, but his biggest shots in the 2019-20 season with the Clippers consist of this game winner in the face of top wing defender PJ Tucker and this dagger. Late in the clock for Kawhi. And how can we forget about this sequence against Harden and the Rockets back when the claw was a spur, hitting a ridiculous go-ahead three-pointer and then pitting the beard shot on the other end to seal a victory? Whether it's winning championships or just making unforeseen plays and shots when you need them to, Kawhi's the second player I'd want with the game on the line in the NBA today. Before the first ranked player, some honorable mentions. First, because they're injured, Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving can't make the list. 
Most considered for the list were Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young, Spencer Dinwiddie, Paul George, Jamal Murray, Zach Levine, Jimmy Butler, Pascal Siakam, and Victor Oladipo. But number one is Damian Lillard. Shockingly, he missed two free throws which lost Portland a crucial playoff qualifying game. He then got disrespected by Paul George and Pat Beverly. For that, you may be scratching your head at why Dame's still somehow ranked as the NBA's clutchest player. That comes down to the fact that he's made countless pressured buckets for the injured and underbuilt Blazers all season long. Plus, he's proved throughout his career that he responds to disrespect and trash talk well. We'll get to that. But now, he's proving he responds well to that again, as after those missed free throws, Dame Time came out the next game to drop 51 in Rip City's continued playoff push. This game placed Lillard among some of the all-time greats in being the only players with 10-plus 50-point games. Mainly the reason Damian graces the number one spot, though, is because how he responded to Russ last year, who trash-talked him during the 2019 regular season. For the fourth time in this video, Paul George is being seen with a dagger dropped on him, and this was undoubtedly the one that stung the most. I don't know what PG is doing trash talking the usually clutch Lillard who led his fully healthy squad to the conference finals last year, and not to mention knock down a shot that'll literally never be forgotten right in your face. So Dame's the clutchest in the game in my opinion, but let me know who you think is the clutchest player in the NBA for next video shoutout. Subscribe if you enjoyed and you're new. This was DFlow. Go check out the 10 records broken this season if you haven't already, and I'll see you next video.